Hello, hello. I'm just coming on to let you know about uh, something that I want to share with you and give to you whilst we're still sheltered in place. Uh, I keep thinking of ways that I can contribute at the moment. And so what I'm going to do starting in the new moon on the 23rd of April, which is this coming Thursday, is we are going to do a femathon. What's a femathon, you're asking? So essentially in the femathon, we're going to be, um, I'm going to read it here. <laughs> uh, we're going to be discussing the myths, mistakes and misconceptions that I've been seeing that we all know about. Uh, that so many women come to me about, you know, what's wrong? What are these myths, mistakes and misconceptions about our feminine power and energy? Yeah. So basically we're going to be asking the question, how the heck did we get here as women? And what do we need to do to fully embrace our feminine selves again, right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, uploading videos and doing live streams every day at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, USA time, starting next Thursday. And um, I'll be premiering or releasing that video at that time. It will mean that I can come on at the same time and also be chatting with you in the chat box or the comments box. And I just wanted to cover some of the things that I'm going to be talking about, which is... Um, da -da -da. Okay, so in day one, we're going to be talking um, about the two reasons why the false feminine starts in women. Um, we're going to take you through how to identify what is your feminine origin story and how important that is to know that as a woman and how that's shaped you and how you can move forward from that. Uh, we're going to talk, be talking about how to be successful whilst not compromising your feminine energy. That's really important. Uh, we're going to be doing some deep dive into desire to get what you want, like understanding desire, understanding how you have to go deep and underneath lots of the conditional levels to get to real desire, um, the mistakes that women are making about feminine power and energy, um, why you'll never get your needs met from the false feminine. So I'm going to be, obviously you need to understand my model of the true and false feminine to understand those pieces, but the false feminine, the lower feminine, the princess and the maid, you'll never get your needs met. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Do, do, do. Now I'm going to give you some, I'm going to talk a bit about the 10 common mis misconceptions about what the feminine actually is. Yeah and what it's not, obviously. <laughs> the essential difference between true and false feminine. Um, we're going to talk a bit about free will or about will and the feminine. Because I think we've often had this association that will and willpower is a masculine thing, but it's not only a masculine thing. And then I'm going to talk about the key missing ingredient that I discovered to become powerfully feminine. Now, I do encourage you even now below, if you have questions or things you want me to talk about, please post that below. Put it in the comments box um, and I will consider that as an additional live stream or something that I can do in the future or even do during the Femathon. Now, at the end of the Femathon, I'm going to be inviting you to a day of masterclasses where you're going to have three times during the day with which you can actually watch uh, a live recorded masterclass with me. And that is about, you know, the three massive mistakes I see women making again and again that keep them overwhelmed, exhausted and burning out. And the reason why I speak about it like that is because you need to understand the five core feminine arts in which to embody and know and be feminine. And that will counter the exhaustion, the overwhelm and the burning out. OK, so I encourage you just to turn up uh, 1 p.m. starting this Thursday. It will be actually on YouTube. And so whether you're here on YouTube or you're linking through this to YouTube, I encourage you to join me live because we're at home and what a great way to be sort of binging on feminine power stuff during this time together. So again, if you have any questions, pop them below uh, for me to answer you. Otherwise, I look forward to discussing these topics, these myths, mistakes and misconceptions that we've been making as women. So we're in this discussion together, okay? So I'm excited about giving you all this free content and information starting next Thursday, which happens to be the new moon, um, which is a great way to be starting something together. So just wanted to let you know 
much love to you and I will see you there at the Femathon. Bye for now. <laughs>